How to install Docker in a Debian-like system with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. In order to install Docker on a Debian-like system, we need to perform three different steps. The first step is to download the GPG signature key from the repository. You are going to use the ansible.building.apt underscore key ansible module. This encrypted key verifies the genuinity of the packages and the repository and guarantees that the software is the same as Docker releases. The second step is to add a Docker repository to the distribution. It's an extra website where APT, your distribution package manager, look like for software. You are going to use the ansible.builtin.apt repository ansible module. And finally, the third step is to update the APT cache for the available package and install Docker using ansible.builtin.apt module. Parameters For the ansible.builtin.apt key ansible module, I'm going to use two parameters, URL and state. The URL parameter specify the URL of the repository GPG signature key and the state verify that is present on our system after the execution. For the Ansible built-in apt underscore repository Ansible module, I'm going to use two parameters, repo and state. The repo parameter specify the repository parameters and the state verify that is present in our system after the execution. For the Ansible built-in APT Ansible module, I'm going to use three parameters name, state and update underscore cache. The name parameter specify the package name Docker CE in our case, and the state verify that is present in our system after the execution. Before installing the package, the update underscore cache perform an update of the apt cache to ensure that the latest version of the package is going to be downloaded. And finally, demo time. Let's jump in a real-time, real-life Ansible playbook to install Docker in Debian-like system. Are you excited? Let's go to have fun! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to install Docker in Debian-like system. So first of all, let's begin with our YAML document with free dash and let's start with a play named install docker that is going to be executed on hosts all of my inventory. Then what else? I need a root privilege, so let me set become true. So Ansible is going to log in with normal user and then become root. Then let's define our three different tasks. The first is going to be name install apt transport https. This is uh, like a preliminary step to ensure that uh, apt is able to download the https repository. So let me target ansible.builtin.apt and uh, let me double check that this package are already present on the system. Uh, following a list of four different packages, first is apt-transport-https, then ca 
certificate and LSB releases release <laughs> and then GNU PG GNU PG is a GPG so is going to verify the signature so pretty important for this task the state of this package need to be present or better latest version installed on our system and let me also do update underscore cache true this is going to take just a few seconds more but it guarantees that uh, our metadata are up to date then let's start our three different steps that we see in the presentation so first will be to define uh, a name of the step to add the signature key I'm referring to the GPG key that uh, is going to sign the repository and the packages. So pretty important. Ansible.builtin.apt underscore key is the module that we needed. And let's define the URL. In this case is HTTPS download.docker dot com slash linux slash is going to be ubuntu and then slash gpg but we would like to keep a little bit generic this uh, playbook and the state will be present so i would like to substitute ubuntu with a distribution name because it will be ubuntu or debian based on the execution for example so i'm going to use uh, ansible underscore distribution variable is a built-in variable that is going to substitute based on the execution node and i'm going to use the filter lower to put a lowercase on this because usually it has capital letter like a first U of Ubuntu and the first DS Debian. So let's move to the second step to add repository into sources list. Sources list, here we go. So for this task, I'm going to use ansible.builtin.apt underscore repository with some parameters so the first is the most important the repo that define the repository definition in my case deb and then let me define the architecture here we go as before i prefer to use the ansible variable so in my case ansible underscore architecture this will be substitute with AMD64 or uh, other architecture that is running in this machine. And then let me add the URL. So HTTPS download.docker.com slash Linux. And then another time will be like a Ubuntu or Debian. So let me use the same trick as before ansible underscore distribution filter by lower and then what else oh there is also distribution name like for example focal or the other one for ubuntu and i'm using another trick that is going to be ansible underscore distribution underscore release that is the substitute at runtime with the name of the distribution yes and then stable so this will be composed all together as a repository definition the state will be present on my system and what else let me define also a file name in my case docker seems pretty explicative so under sources list i'm expecting a file name docker with this content lastly we can finally install docker ce which is the community edition using ansible.builtin.apt command and let me define the name of the package as usual that is going to be docker e here we go 
This will be the stable one, there are also available testing and other type, but I prefer to keep on the stable. State will be latest and update cache, of course, uh, to true. So, as you can see, this is a simple playbook in just a few lines of code I was able to verify that some uh, dependencies are present, plus uh, download the signing key, add the repository and install Docker CE. And now let's jump to my terminal to see the real life execution. Are you excited? Let's go! Welcome to my terminal. I'm going to connect via SSH with in my demo machine. So SSH DevOps is my username at ubuntu.example.com. Your case will be different. This is the first time I'm connecting to this machine, so I need to accept also SSH key. And let's print it out some information about this system. LSB release dash A will print it out some information about Ubuntu 20.04 LTS code name focal. If I'm trying to execute docker dash dash version, docker is not a listed command, apt list installed docker ce dash A will list nothing, so which means that docker don't exist on this system. So as you can see, this machine has no idea what Docker is, neither is installed. It's a really fresh machine, just came out of uh, the setup. So let me disconnect and execute my Ansible playbook. And I will show you how easy it is. Ansible-playbook-e virtual machine ubuntu slash inventory this is a static inventory file that basically execute only on my machine. Install Docker and let's execute Debian YML. This is the playbook that we coded together and is going to execute the first four steps that we see before. So first of all, it's taking care of some uh, package dependency just to verify that apt transport https is available so we could currently download the packages from https repository we see a change of status so which means that some utility weren't present and now they was installed then it download also the gpg signature key and add the additional repository to our distribution Finally, is taking care of downloading and installing Docker CE inside our machine. As you can see, we are expecting a lot of changed status, which means some action are actually performed on the virtual machine. This is normal because this is a fresh machine and we are expecting all these changed status. When Ansible is Finished, we finally have a machine fully configured and ready to execute our Docker. As you can see, there are 5 OK status and 4 changes. And what happens if we rerun again the same playbook on the same machine? Oh, in this time, I'm expecting only the module to verify the status and return one OK status. As you can see, this property is called hidden potency and is perfectly explained right now. As a double check, let me connect again via SSH DevOps is my username at demoexample.com. This time let me switch to root user so I could execute also some command using the Docker newly installed command. So let me also sudo su, here we go, and let me cut slash atc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d and this time I have a docker dot list as expected 
As you can see, Ansible was translating the architecture, the distribution name, and create this docker.list file. Are you anxious? So docker-version is going to list the latest version installed 20.10.12 and if I'm listing with apt list installed docker c dash a you see that I'm is installed the latest version available for Ubuntu Focal and now finally we can have fun with docker so for example docker run hello world this is a sample container that is going to be downloaded in a blink of an eye in our machine and double check that the docker client is successfully configured so yay great success we are able to execute containers in our ubuntu machine Good job, Ansible! Now you know how to install Docker in Debian-like systems with Ansible. Thank you for watching, if you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up, write a comment and in general keep in touch with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day. Bye.